Hello. Welcome to another um, Tweedy Outdoors video. The uh, observant of you may have noticed I'm not in the countryside. I'm in fact in Wapping. Um, thought I'd do a slightly different kind of video today um, and uh, take a walk along the Thames path. I know there'll be a bit less walking, a bit more uh, visiting pubs. seem to have ended up in perhaps not the uh, the most scenic part of the pub here the garden the uh, the beer barrels and stuff but um prospect of Whitby um hopefully got a bit of a flavor for it with the uh, shots back there this dates to about 1520 there's been a pub on this site from 1520 bit of a, a gruesome spot they used to have uh, executions here that's the noose out the front um, pirates and so forth um, uh, the current building is probably um, early 1800s, so, um, but possibly the flagstones date back, um, maybe even to the original um, 1520s pub, which would be quite amazing to have a 500 year old floor in London. There's pretty much nothing um, pub wise still standing in London that's uh, older than about, well, basically the Great Fire of London and then the subsequent Great Fire of Southwark that finished, out, f f f uh, finished everything else off. Um, yeah, so this sometimes gets referred to as one of London's oldest pubs, but it really depends on your definition, if you accept um, that there's just been a pub on this site for 500 years, then sure, fine, but you know, this building is clearly not the original 1520s building. Anyway, great spot by the river. Just in case you wondered where the first ever fuchsias were sold in the UK, Halloumi and chips, which is, um, I guess, a kind of uh, vegetarian version of um, fish and chips. Um, one of those rare, oh, exciting opportunities to have a, a vegetarian version of something that's actually uh, less healthy than the original. The, um, by the side of uh, Prospect of Whitby is this small alleyway this uh, linking lantern which gives access to the foreshore. I think the, um, the tide's in now so huh. there's a tiny tiny bit of foreshore there. See a few stones and the bottom steps. And we're going to see a uh, man's move. You're across the Canary Wharf. You're over to Rotherhide. Um, yeah, in terms of uh, foreshore, that's what you're getting today for sure. Over there is um, whopping hydraulic power plant where they'd uh, turn was it originally coal, steam powered, into steam and then um, transport the steam around London to operate various lifts and bits of machinery and stuff. The young lady just stopped me in the street and said, do you know this area? And I said, well, a bit. And she asked, do you know where the hydraulic power station is? <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I do. It's uh, another alleyway here where we can get a glimpse of the Thames. It's not, not named this one. And by the side of the Riverview, appropriately named Riverview Chinese restaurant, which uh, looks quite nice actually, um, in terms of view. Um, yet again, given what the tide's doing, not a lot to see in terms of foreshore. Foreshore, foreshore. Um, nice big slab, seaweed covered rock. That's about all you're getting there. Some not very often open, well only maybe daylight hours, stretch uh, along the um, huh, 
right um yeah along by the uh, river here Should be a bit of a shortcut to um towards Wapping Station. The sun's come out now. A little bit too hot for tweed. Um, next up, just uh, a few doors down from Wapping Station, I have the, uh, the Captain Kid. Is pub number two, the, uh, the Captain Kid, uh, named after um, well, Captain Kid, um, <laughs> similarly came to a grisly end, um, executed in 1701, according to Wikipedia. Um, I uh, promise the pubs from here on get a bit less uh, uh, execute -y. what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Sam Smith's pub, um, so very, very cheap here, which is great. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say about this one. I assume this was sort of former um, warehouses for the docks. I'm not quite sure at what point this became a pub. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's got a nice big terrace on the outside. Very reasonably priced beer. Um, and not too far from the walking station. King Henry stairs. I, I can't resist these uh, these alleyways. So again, there's not going to be much to see the other end because it's high tide, and maybe this one has been taken over by this uh, boat company here. It's, uh, so we can see not very much. Well, that's some um, steep drop off there as well. Uh, whopping here. Not much choice here but to uh, to use the the tube, uh, confusingly here called the overground, although we're only going to use it for a section under the tunnel. The um, the tunnel is in fact probably the world's oldest and first sub river rail tunnel, if that makes sense. The first uh, tunnel to ever be built successfully underneath the river um, by. Isambard King de Brunel and his dad. They worked together, rarely. Um, I think they did a couple of the projects, the two of them together. Apparently fell out part way through. It's a very reassuring sound of running water. The uh, far end of the platform was a sort of cut and cover section. Well, they did the cut, but maybe not the cover. Bring back top. I see. Some idea of uh, how the tunnel was constructed here. So, so here we are, other side of the tunnel, rather high. Sorry for the background noise. The uh, Brunel Museum. Mayflower, the ship that took the Pilgrim Fathers to America. Yeah. My favourite story about the boat is that the captain apparently was local to Rotherhithe and uh, once he successfully delivered the Pilgrim Fathers to uh, New England, uh, the new colonies uh, that would later form the uh, United States of America, uh, he um, was offered a place to go and live with them and then said, nah, I'll tell you what, I'd rather go back to Rotherhithe. Um, on foot again now. 
very difficult in the uh, the Mayflower to find a corner where there weren't people of peering over, thinking, why is that guy talking to himself? Um, I assume more seasoned YouTube types have no problem with just talking to camera while there's other people watching, but uh, I still get a bit self-conscious uh, about that whole thing. Anyway, um, I'm going to follow the Thames now, Thames Path, I assume, towards Tower Bridge, which you can see over there, classic Tweedy Outdoors pointing at tiny things on screen. Um, and actually, across the, uh, the river over there, you can see where we've come from. <laughs> Not that I walked all that way, um, I got the train. Um, uh, there's the Captain Kid over there, and then somewhere in that direction, I've lost it now, is the prospect of Whitby. So yeah, just imagine this thing had a zoom. You get a lovely uh, view of Tower Bridge from here. Uh, and what's this? It's a bit of sculpture. Revolving beer cans. And a few bottles. Oh, and some um, some cider. What a thing of beauty that is. Next up, the angel. It's a guy over there making a TikTok video. What a thing it is to be alive in 2022 when um, you know no one really experiences things anymore. They just take videos of it. But look, anyway, um, you know enough of the self-referential doubt or whatever you call that. The angel, isn't that beautiful? Got this uh, lovely balcony. Uh, also this, that's nicer from this angle, spectacular terrace next to the Angel. Um, great place to watch the sun setting over uh, Tower Bridge over there and the Shard if you're into that sort of thing. I'm not. Um, there's the guy doing TikTok over there, look. Right, well, uh, left the Angel now. Um, just got a text from the dentist reminding me I have an appointment tomorrow morning. Don't want to be too um, um, uh, tired, shall we say, uh, tomorrow morning at the dentist. So uh, perhaps I will end this little uh, revisit of uh, the East London River Thames pubs. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've got a sort of sense of it, hopefully. Um, nice here, you get kind of a bit of a feeling of being by the sea. The uh, the river is really very tidal at this point. So, um, yeah, a bit of an odd video. Uh, sorry about that. So, yeah, anyway, um, uh, thanks for watching. I hope that wasn't too weird, boring, off-topic, whatever. And uh, I will see you on the next one. <laughs>